Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Monday on Pagan Perspective Subs Week. This week, the question comes from Michael Jones, and it's about belief and practice. The full question will be in the description below. Basically, they are asking from the standpoint of a somewhat new practitioner and really focused on how to move from orthodoxy to ortho practice. The question comments on how much of paganism is really about practice and work, whatever a pagan is actually doing to facilitate their pagan path, rather than just spouting a lot of dogma or belief or memorizing lots of facts, that sort of thing, which I think is very common. Actually, my own path, I really focus on practice and my daily practice. I'm less inclined to worry about having concrete and well thought out uh, beliefs that really crystallize everything that I feel and believe about the world. It's really more what I'm doing and what beliefs help facilitate that, that practice. So I love this question. For me, the biggest thing to consider when trying to facilitate more of an active practice in paganism versus just believing or studying is to give yourself a break. I think a lot of pagans create more anxiety and concern than is necessary when developing a practice. It doesn't happen overnight. It's something that occurs and changes and adapts to your life as you learn and grow and as your life changes. If you harbor all of this concern and anxiety about not doing the right things at the right time or not doing enough or doing too much, I think all of that mental stuff gets in the way of actually enjoying and recognizing what you are already doing for your practice. There are lots of things that you can do that are simple and easy to add into your daily life that can bring more attention to your pagan practice and belief. Simple things like doing a greeting to the sun every morning when you wake up, saying a few words, doing a yoga pose, um, lighting a candle or kissing a certain statue or picture or just communing with plants on your way to work. Little things like that can really be a great way to start with a practice. Finding something that is easy and simple enough, you can do it every day or every week and feel confident that you're practicing paganism. A practice is just that. You're never perfect. There's never a final moment where you've achieved all that you're going to achieve. It's never set in stone. It's always going to adapt to your life and your needs. I personally have a daily practice where I do some yoga, I have some meditation, I occasionally do some chant work. Uh, I have a weekly practice where I do specific studies using Gorsi from the Obad's course. And then I have yearly practices focused around the eight seasonal festivals. Now, all of those things didn't happen overnight. They grew upon each other. And sometimes I'm really awesome at my daily practice and some weeks I feel r like rubbish and it just doesn't happen at all. But I don't stress over it and I don't beat myself up. I just practice a little bit more the next time. When working with a pagan practice, I think it's also important to consider how we develop habits. A practice is essentially how do you create a spiritual habit. There are many different resources out there on how you can create a habit. There's statistics like it create it takes 20 days to, to create a habit, things like that. You can look into that research on habit making to find tools to inspire your own spiritual habits. The question also talks about kind of leaving and returning to paganism because the questioner doesn't feel like their practice really reflects their beliefs and they feel like while they have pagan beliefs without the practice, are they really being a, a good pagan? That's kind of implied in the question. I don't think that everyone will create a really elaborate pagan practice. 
I don't think everyone needs really intense detailed practices. Having beliefs that you consider to, to be pagan and having some simple practices, even if they're just focused on the wheel of the year, so eight times a year, or just the solstices and equinox. Simple practices that happen only occasionally are still practices. You should honor where your practices are at and where your spiritual beliefs and practices align. If that's what you need right now, great. Don't force yourself into creating something more elaborate or cumbersome than you actually need to facilitate your beliefs in your life. Now, on the other hand, if you say you believe in protecting the earth because the earth is a divine, but you don't do anything to help the environment, like you can't even recycle or you take two hour long showers every single day without a care in the world, then perhaps that's where you reevaluate whether those beliefs are really held by you if, if nothing in your life reflects those beliefs. Most of the time, I think people reflect their beliefs in simple actions every day and don't have to think much about them because that belief is what motivates them to practice what they preach. In the comments below, I'd love to hear what your favorite simple, fast pagan practices. I think exchanging our ideas will help people develop more awesome practices for themselves. Thanks for watching and as always may you find peace in the sacred grove.